Now, when you have a minor snack attack, you might crave a small bag of potato chips or popcorn. But if you're suffering from an acute, severe snack attack, sometimes the only remedy is a big old burger and a mound of fries. Why is it that sometimes the smallest restaurants offer the biggest value? Tucked away in an industrial park in Ipswich, Massachusetts, Bond's Burger is a massive step up from the fast food mega chains, even though it's barely big enough to fit more than a few customers at a time. Bond's Burgers is a classic burger shack where everything is handmade from scratch. Hand make our own patties, hand cut our own french fries. Easy setup, we got 24 seats, 600 square feet, and some of the lunches, it gets crazy. Lines out the door and uh, you get moving. Two people get rocking, one girl on the counter. It can get kind of hectic when you're in the kitchen Every burger is so completely different, and the list of the toppings when it comes to the ticket, when you look at it, you're like, oh boy. Despite how busy buns can get, Not right. this is basically the entire staff. Chef owner Hannah Macklin and her father, Mark Macklin. They do everything the old-fashioned way here, so the burgers are fresh and the fries are nothing short of fantastic. Fries we hand cut and then you let them soak overnight and then you blanch them. That just gives it a nice golden color and it's just like a unique flavor. It's not frozen whatsoever and it's just fresh. People come in here just for french fries all the time. They also come for the specialty fries, like this one topped with their signature Wizza sauce, featuring creamy melted cheese and homestyle chili. The buffalo fries are layered with chopped up slices of buffalo chicken and blue cheese dressing. And the so-called dirty swine fries are obscenely good. The dirty swine fries are almost like a meal in themselves. Dirty swine was uh, hand cut fries with uh, braised barbecue pork, smoked bacon, jalapenos, and the cheddar cheese Wizza sauce, and a killer. But nothing can kill your hunger and craving for spice like the Stinger fries. Smothered in house-made sriracha ketchup, addictive chipotle mayo, and chopped jalapenos. Very, very spicy. It's actually like probably the first creation fry that we came up with. Definitely have some heat to them, but people love them. Now before we get to the burgers, let's take a closer look at the buns. Depending on how you look at the restaurant's logo, you could consider it cute, clever, or controversial. So we come up with this bee here, which is pretty creative. It may or may not look like a set of buns. Yeah, it's just a regular bee. I mean, some people see other things in the bee. We just uh, thought it looked nice, especially with the name buns. It's just a bee to us. Under the buns, there's a huge variety of toppings and sauces, all completely complimentary. Lettuce, tomato, mustard, ketchup, pickle, onion, mayo, barbecue sauce, grilled onion, grilled mushroom, A1 mayonnaise, chipotle mayo, fresh jalapeno, sriracha ketchup, avocado, and eggs. The avocado and egg actually cost a little bit extra, and if you don't mind the slightly higher cost, the signature burgers are definitely worthy, especially the breakfast burger, which is stacked with everything you love to eat in the morning, from the bacon to the hash browns. So you get the bottom bun, and then we put the hash brown patty, the burger patty, two slices of cheese, bacon, and then we put grilled onions, fried egg, and then a little bit of ketchup goes on top, and then the top bun. But you bite into it, it all goes over your face and goes down, and just a uh, good feeling. The juices are running everywhere, and it's uh, juicy and moist. Good hangover uh, cure, for sure. And for the more refined palate, there's the Bistro Burger, smeared with sweet, homemade fig jam. The Bistro Burger is a little different. It's arugula, fig jam, goat cheese, and then a fried egg. So you would never think that all those flavors would really work together, but it's out of this world. Rounding out the menu, there's also a bacon-wrapped, deep-fried hot dog drizzled in that delicious Wizza sauce. And another favorite for all you health nuts out there, puffy golden fried Oreos, which only cost a dollar a piece. Or you can splurge and get a stack of them skewered over a Klondike bar with some sprinkles thrown in for good measure. Okay, so this isn't exactly fine dining, but that's why they can keep the prices so low despite having the best buns in the business. We try to keep our prices as low as we can afford. We're just kind of like a small burger shack and we don't want people to come in thinking that they're getting charged like an arm and a leg. We want them to get the best bang for their buck and I think so far we're doing a pretty good job.